Amen. The name's Muhammad Ali. Greatest of all times. Look at me. In my face. My nose. In perfect shape. My lips. And I'm not boasting. But it's hard to be as humble when you're as pretty as I am. I started boxing at the age of 12 years old. When some chump stole my bike. From 1961, after I won Olympic gold, turned pro. But I realized that Archimor is a great fighter. But he's an old great fighter. He's old enough to be my granddaddy, and I predict that Archimor will go no longer than round four. Henry Cooper's a bum, he mean nothing to me. If this bum go over five rounds, I won't return to the United States of America for 30 days, and that's final. Henry Cooper will only be a warm-up until I get to that big, bad, ugly bear, son and listen. You heard it? That's right. Ah! After beating all the bums and the contenders along the way, I was ready to fight for the heavyweight championship. I don't care how small that ring is, I'll fight that chump in a telephone booth. Who's son of Lister? He's too ugly to be the world's champ. The world's champ should be pretty, like me. If you want to lose your money, then be a fool and bet on Sonny. If Sonny Lister wants me, I'll, I'll kiss the sea in the ring. Call out of the ring, on my knees, say he's the heavyweight champion of the world, and catch the next man out of the country, that's what I'll do. Great swings of his left, great swings of his right. Look at young cats just carry the fight. Listen keeps back, but there's not enough room. It's only a matter of time. Okay, goes the boom. Listen disappears from view. The crowd just gets it frantic. They picked him up on the satellite. He's somewhere over the Atlantic. Who would have thought on the night of the fight that they would witness the launching of a human satellite? Yeah, but the crowd did not dream when they laid down their money that they would see the total eclipse of the sun. I'm pretty. I'm a bad man. I'm so great. I don't have a mark on my face. I just said son of Liston, and I just turned 22 years old. I must be the greatest. I told the world. I shook up the world. I shook up the world. I shook up the world. I am the greatest. Ah! I was not heavyweight champion of the world. And the following day, I changed my name to Muhammad Ali. We started touring the world. It's fighting all top contenders. But there was one fight I was not prepared to take. And that was a fight against the Viet Cong. So because of that, they took my title away from me. taken away from me without me even being whooped. One more time, who's the heavyweight champion of the world? Oh, that's all I can say. I mean, you've heard it from the people themselves. I am the greatest. After uh, protests from my black people, I felt it was unjust. But they will punish me because I chose to stand up for my religious beliefs. Two and a half years later, they reinstated my license. That was a lot of boxing here. I am ready for Joe French. Joe's gonna come out smoking, and I ain't gonna be joking. I'll be pecking and a poking, pouring water on his smoking. And this might shock and amaze you, but I will destroy Joe French. People keep saying how bad Joe is. Joe's bad and he's strong. But I say that Joe needs some bad roll on. That's the order. Tonight, they will all admit, they will all say how wrong they were. Listen to me now, this will be no contest. I lost that fight. My first defeat. I got beat up pretty bad. But I refused to bow down. And then I came across this man by the name of Ken Norton. And this man proceeds to go and break my jaw in round two. And I went ten more rounds and my jaw broke. And I was ready to take on the new heavyweight champion. 
George Foreman. Why does everyone keep talking about this George Foreman? The mummy. <laughs> see, I say to myself, I can't see no mummy whooping me. I've been working four months for this fight, and my weight today is 214 pounds. That's fight already. I'm way over schedule with my timing and my accuracy. My reach will be an inch and a half long. The man is sore. The man is blessed with it. The man don't stand a chance to stay to be sick. This man is supposed to annihilate me. Ten years after whipping son listen, I'm supposed to be getting it done at this time, but I think it only be fitting that I go out of boxing just like I came in. Shocking the world. My Bad, ugly, a monster, and nobody else be. The king has come home to get his crown. I was heavyweight champion of the world again. And it was beyond doubt that I was the greatest of all time. I told you, I'm the champion of the world. Oh, look at that. All of my big strong. All you suckers who write the great magazine. Go, because I'm back. And I had me one more fight with Joel Frazier. And a fight known as the Thriller in Manila. Have me here, Joel Frazier's conch. And this idea is when you hit it. Come on, Gorilla, we in Manila. Come on, Gorilla, this is the Thriller. And that's what I'm able to fight. I say that it will be a killer and a thriller and a chiller when I get that gorilla in Manila. Joe Frazier, so I think his space should be donated to the Bureau of Wildlife. Get there early because Joe Frazier might sit down before you. I'm the greatest, I'm the prettiest, heavyweight fighter of all time. And as you know, I'm the greatest of all times. And I won that fight. But I got hurt. Pretty bad. It was then I finally decided it was time to retire. A couple of years later, they diagnosed me with Parkinson's syndrome. Now, I don't want nobody out there to feel sorry for me. I'm still a happy man. I got me 10 beautiful children who love me and go after me. But before I finish telling you my story, I just thought I'd let you know. Muhammad Ali is the greatest of all times. See you around.